We are here live from the Global Oceanography Foundation headquarters alongside the Wonder Workshop team in San Mateo, California. I'm Vikas, co-founder and CEO of Wonder Workshop, and I want to introduce you to a really special person today. Hi guys, my name is Brisa, I'm the director of the Wonder League Robotics Competition, and we've been eagerly waiting for this day to announce the winners for this year's Wonder League Robotics Competition. <laughs> Research teams from across the globe were invited to explore the mysterious and deep, uncharted blue ocean. The discoveries that your research teams reported back to us were not only impressive, but will be paramount in supporting further explorations for scientists around the globe. Your teams were challenged in many ways in for the search for the obscure, through navigating the stars, encountering poisonous jumping jellyfish, working with powerful currents, and even completing an underwater rescue. Your teams were definitely put to the test, and your journey didn't stop there. Your team then helped to rescue a mysterious sea creature that ultimately would have the biggest and most important impact on your research teams. Many of you, 511 research teams to be exact, 511. Then continue your adventure to ultimately save this mysterious sea creature and her babies from the polar vortexes that were deemed to destroy them. Let's reflect back on some of the moments that you shared with us. This year we are floating in the deep blue sea. So in the Hanbu Wonder Chicken Sun and Chicken Once-in-a-lifetime experience, am I right, Sid? You sure are, Rabbi. Drop the mic. What an adventure and what a fun journey it has been. The oceanography community, researchers, and generations to come are forever in your debt for all that you have discovered and all that you have done for the Global Oceanography Foundation. We had so many teams that stood out and went far and beyond what was required on their quest for the Wonder League title. It was only after some long days and some sleepless nights that we were finally able to determine the top 18 teams across all three age groups. We cannot tell you how impressed we were with all of your work. And without further ado, let's start announcing with the 12 to 14 age group winners. In sixth place, this team, although only comprising of one boy, did a massive amount of work and got very creative by only using a few items for his attachment design. His goal setting and time management skills shine through, resulting in a great collection of work. Representing our neighbors from up north from Brampton, Ontario, congratulations Team Brampton Ninjas on becoming a finalist. And in fifth place, this team had the mission on lockdown with their basket-like attachment that transported the babies with ease and efficiency. 
This two-sister team from Yeongchang, Korea showed amazing teamwork, even though they are entirely different countries while working on the final mission. Congratulations, Team Han. Now for our fourth place finalist, this all-girls team from Canton, Michigan serenaded us with their clever rafting skills. They also taught us a thing or two about the northern fur seal and impressed us with their art and design talent. Their Lego attachment took things to a whole new level. We are thrilled to have the Tech Sisters as a finalist. Congratulations, girls. Third place went to a team from Shadron, Nebraska that tracked the blue whale with a logbook around goal setting, planning, and reflections that would make any scientist proud. Their teamwork came shining through in everything they did, from using JavaScript and Tinkercad to creating pizza and watermelon food sources. Way to go, Team Cardinals! And for a runner-up, it must be said that this team knocked it out of the park and persevered over many, many challenges along the way. This Ukrainian two boys team and their mysterious sea creature, Kraken, captured our attention and their attachment creation inspired us. Congratulations, Team K2. And now, time for the grand prize winner, recipient of $5,000 STEM grand prize, a team of one who led us through an insightful, engaging, and thought-provoking story of her mysterious sea creature that she discovered. This team from Bakersfield, California clearly has a future in the production business, in addition to her engineering skills. This individual took her viewers along with her every step of the way, making us feel a part of her team. And although she didn't relocate all three babies with her final attachment, she definitely excelled at everything else. We are so excited to congratulate Team Cadenza. Our first finalist in the 9 to 11 age bracket goes to a team from Taiwan that clearly has a curiosity as to how things work. They impressed us all by using a counterweight that cleverly helps their sea creature, Lisa, deliver her babies. Her thoughtful presentation highlighting the effects of ocean pollution and the reflection in all of the decision making and planning took them to the next level. Team Curiosity, you keep us curious as to what you'll do next. See what I did there? Ha! This team from Lanham, Maryland will be coming in fifth place this year. He designed a ramp to help the mysterious sea creature deliver her babies to her new home and it all came together with his crawl-like attachment. Team Incredible knows how to put a presentation together and for all of his incredible work, see, I did it again, he'll be taking home fifth place. Congratulations! Fourth place went to a team of three from Taiwan. This team did it all with a presentation that took us into their heads as they went through their experience. After various tries with failed attachments, they used recycled plastic bottles to safely transport the babies. Way to stay with it, Team Submarine Number One. Hampton, Virginia better keep their eyes on this team of girls who continue to wow us with their creativity and storytelling, not to mention their crazy skills in claymation and rigorous log books. Their Dewey Darwin's daring rescue took us all on quite the adventure. Taking home third place is Team Winter Apocalypse. Congratulations, girls! And for our second runner-up, this team of one gave a clear eye for design and engineering and gave the winning team a run for their money. His smart flipping attachment was clean and elegant in every sense of the word. His thorough logbooks and presentation took him all the way to the end, and we enjoyed getting to share this journey with Team 116 from Cannon City, Colorado. Congratulations! Now, what we've all been waiting for, the grand grand prize. Winner goes to an all-girls team from Du Bois, Iowa. Not only could these girls take home an Oscar for their improv skills, but their clever storytelling kept us all in stitches. Their strong code, skilled use of every tape under the sun, and their methodical documentation earns them this year's grand prize. Congratulations to Team Problem Solvers.
Our first two finalists in ages six to eight were both girls and were both from teams of one. They had to go that extra mile to make everything come together and we are thrilled to be naming them as finalists. In sixth place from Renton, Washington, this team of one showed amazing thinking and designing skills as she worked to complete the mission. Her playfulness storyline brought a touch of fun to her presentation and to this year's challenge. A huge congratulations to Team Force Robots. For our fifth place, although one of our youngest competitors, this team of one showed confidence and presented herself well beyond her years. Her final presentation showed hard work, lots of failed attempts, and lots and lots of reflection. We felt as though we were with her each and every step of the way with her detailed logbook and presentation, even though she was miles away in her hometown of Gurdjieff, India. Congratulations, Team Vic Bjorn. This team of four challenged themselves with new ideas and even some new power tools. They went the distance by creating an attachment that made us think that they could be ready for a job here at Wonder Workshop. They'll be taking home some bragging rights to their hometown of Richfield, Wisconsin. In fourth place, congratulations to the Team Sharkies. Third place went to a team from across the globe in China. This team of four stole our hearts and wowed us with their coding and engineering skills. Their sense of fun and their lovely sense of humor played through all that they did. Let's hear it for their Team Baby Blue Whale. Congratulations. And for our second runner up, a team from all the way from Penamacor, Portugal, a sister duo that loves mountains and winter sports almost as much as they love robotics. They left no rock unturned in their quest for success in this year's competition. Hard work and a number of different attachment designs finally led them to some solving the problems. Their unique mat design was brilliant and left us wanting more. A huge congratulations to Team PT Discoveries. Way to go, girls! And now, for our last and final grand prize winner, this team of two boys from Qingxu, Taiwan, had some amazing planning and production skills. We can see their teamwork throughout their challenges, their ideas, and their successes. Inspired by a favorite dessert, their ice cream scooper-like attachment was well thought out of and worked incredibly smooth. They composed their own soundtrack to go along with a compelling presentation and storyline. This well-earned grand grant prize winner goes to Gu Yong. We have been so impressed by all the great examples of creative problem solving, design thinking, teamwork, and perseverance with coding and robotics. We couldn't have gone through this journey without you. Thank you to all of our WLRC teams, their support teams, and of course, their wonderful and dedicated coaches. Be sure to join us for year five as we have quite the surprise for you all. That is if you're up for the challenge. See you guys next season.